Yo guys, and what's going on? Stardom's back with another video. Sorry for not uploading the past couple of days. And basically what this video is about is combat tips. I get asked a lot on combat tips. And the game I'm going to be doing combat tips on is Lightsaber Battlegrounds, which is the game I'm currently in. And Lightsaber Battlegrounds basically has the same mechanics of LM2. So if you're here for LM2 as well, this video will help you out. But it doesn't really help out LM1 because LM1 combat system is completely different. I'm sure there's other videos out there on LM1. To be honest, I'm not the best jeweler on LM1. So I guess I wouldn't really... I don't know that much about like animation cancelling and blah, 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 blah. But yeah. But if you're here for LM2 and I like some grounds, I'm here to help you out. And I just want to say I'm not the best jeweler, but I hope these tips do help you out. And in my group, if you're in my group at least, you'll know that I recently released a shirt. Right now it's not for sale because I forgot to make the hands transparent. So... My hands are white like in game right now they should be black but they're white so i need to make sure and fix that but uh, if you're in my group i might have fixed the shirt by the time this video is up so if you're in my group like 10 robux it helps me out a lot and yeah i'd appreciate it if you got it the lightsaber i'm going to be using to like show what i'm trying to show is the single lightsaber you know tournaments and arenas and stuff are all basically done with the normal lightsaber because it just makes it fair for example, if someone was using like a normal lightsaber and another person was using dual, then it's just not like a balanced fight. Due to the different fighting styles they have, like right there you can see dual is much faster. And then, well I don't even know if it's much faster, but yeah, you know you know what I'm trying to say. It's just not the same, I don't know, my movement is brilliant by the way. But I'm just going to join the game on my alt account and then I'm going to show some things that will help you out. So basically, <laughs> I tried joining on my phone. On my alt account on lightsaber, my lightsaber battlegrounds vip server but lightsaber battlegrounds isn't supported for mobile devices so i've switched to lm2 i'm not in a vip i'm just in like a very low populated server but one guy on it probably afk farming just off the break i want to say if you're on pc the first thing i want to say to you is to enable shift lock it's literally right at the top of here you see it's off and i press my shift button it doesn't do anything and I have to basically control the screen with my right mouse. But if it's on, I don't know why my robot's super laggy. I can just look around like this, where I face with my mouse. And it's just a lot, a lot easier, you know. You can just control everything with your mouse. That's something very overpowered, which PC players, I don't want to say abuse, but they can use that to their advantage. Another thing I want to start off with is blocking. So I am on my alt account it's pretty hard to control i don't play my bar so i'll show you right now let see if you block it uses up like i don't know how much force it uses up but if you if you've got a high amount of force you can basically just stop someone from hitting you you can attack someone from behind if someone if you're blocking make sure always to face the direction of them because it's not like 360 blocking you have to face the direction but lag can basically Lag is a big factor on LM2. If you've played LM2, you know it's quite laggy anyway. I just think that's just because of the sheer size of the map. Because of that, at least I get a lot of lag. I'm not sure if other people do. But it just, it makes, it causes desync and lag comp. If you've played other games, like, I don't know if any of you have, would have played H1Z1 or anything like that. But on H1Z1, there was this thing called desync where maybe on your screen, you're hitting them. But then on their screen, you're not, and therefore it doesn't count. Or maybe it does count, even though you're like, how is he hitting me because he's far away? Or maybe you're hitting someone, and they're not being hit, even though you're literally on your screen, you're hitting them. But right now, yeah, that will hit them because it's basically me. So we're on the same ping. I think that might be taken into account. But yeah, blocking. You want to block. When you block the attack, it will temporarily disarm well not disarm them but like they'll be like they won't be able to attack for a couple of seconds you know they'll be they'll be given a delay until they can attack again you can take advantage of that and start hitting them another thing is keeping your wisdom high because basically blocking attacks is going to use up wisdom your movements during a fight will use up wisdom your abilities in a fight will use up wisdom i won't really showcase how to use the abilities or when that's just pretty self-explanatory Play the game and you'll understand, just like the combat. Play the game and you'll start to understand combat more. 1v1 some people and maybe they can give you tips as well. But blocking does actually use up your force. So I'll show it right now if I throw 
with my ult and then start hitting me. You'll see when I get to like below 10, I think my my dodge, yeah, my, my block doesn't work anymore and boom, I'm dead. So you want to always keep that high because there becomes a point where you are vulnerable. Your block won't work anymore. I don't know if any of you have ever tried like running from someone. You're out of wisdom and you're probably like, okay, what can I do here to stop myself from dying? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to block. So then you're blocking and it doesn't work because you simply, you've just got no wisdom and they're just going to kill you. So there's another tip. Blocking, you probably, you might know that, but yeah, once you get below 10 or I don't know, maybe it's a percentage. Your blocks just don't do anything anymore and they can kill you pretty easily. So you want to like not be too acrobatic during fights, especially if you've got low wisdom. Like for example, right now I've literally got base stats because that's what happens when you hit level 100 when you rejoin servers. As you can see, my wisdom takes forever. Normally it would just go pretty much, especially if I was um like had 515. You can get 515, but... I don't want to waste my XP. And on the topic of saving your wisdom by not like overusing acrobatics, you want to also use acrobatics to your advantage. So maybe someone's blocking, you can actually do a move. You might know a force movement, which I think I was one of the first people to find out. At least I posted it. Right now it doesn't do much because I've got low agility. But for example, if you press E to dash, you just go like that. If you jump, if you dash, then press jump. You're basically fling, but because I've got really super low agility, it won't really do much. If someone's blocking, you can basically go like that and throw behind them. Even good mass people, you can catch them off guard. They won't be able to just go jing like that. I don't know. You always want to track your opponent. I guess this goes on to that as well. You always want to track your opponent, especially using shift lock. You always want to be facing them pretty much. You want to be aware of your surroundings as well, because you never know. Someone might want to break up the fight. But you're... You want to be facing them. You want to be ready to attack and to defend yourself. And yeah, when they block, you can... I think you can actually deal damage. Alright, there we go. I think they took a tiny bit of damage and it used up their blocking. So yeah, throwing basically, like I said, it's not 360 degrees. So I threw my lightsaber through him. He blocked the initial attack, but because it's obviously it's... um. Thrones was going to come back it then attacked him through the back so he took damage and that's another way to deal damage to someone whilst they're blocking throwing is very useful for attacking it does a lot of damage as well when you've got high strength it catches your opponents off guard sometimes maybe your opponent isn't expecting you to throw the lightsaber so while their guards down you can just go bunk and it will do a lot of damage and that's another thing you always want to use throw at the right time because that does actually use up a lot of wisdom right now i'll show you I've got 60 wisdom, I throw, and boom, 40 wisdom used up right there, and now look how low I am. Just two dashes, and I'd be, I wouldn't even be able to defend myself anymore. Yeah, you want to be prepared to block, but also use throw at the correct times. Because like I said earlier, you always want to be focusing on your opponent. You don't want to let them, you know, catch you off guard or anything like that. So as soon as you see this initial animation, right, I'll try and slow it down when I edit it. As soon as you see this animation, just block it, okay? Is you're going to block out the damage maybe they'll get a bit in like i said it sometimes it can attack you from behind but not everyone fights like this right maybe you're taking your distance because you know they're going to throw it you know so the second hit won't be able to get you through the back that's a very good tip as well always keeping your distance because throwing will be used by a lot of people people will use that to take easy hits on you but throw just remember throwing does use up a lot of force so don't overuse your throw especially if you've not got a lot of wisdom so another thing is a force movement that I personally love to use. So basically, when you dash, you can hit and then dash. And as you can see, the animation kind of like messes up a little. But I'll show you what happens here. So I can hit from here, dash, and it, whoops, it didn't actually work there. But I can go through him like that. Boom. See, I'm hitting him. Hit, dash, that hit. Dash, that hit. That hit as well. If you've played lights of a battleground, you know a lot of people like to do this kind of hit, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it now. So they do the dash jump, the dash jump, the hit dash jump, the hit dash jump, the hit dash jump. Like I'm saying it right there. That's the order you want to do it in. Hit dash jump. Or you can just do a hit dash. 
maybe they're not far away or maybe maybe your last resort right if you've got a lot of agility and wisdom you'll jump further and you'll be able to regain wisdom faster so as a last resort attacking does does um slow your opponent down maybe they're coming at you right and you just jump through them like that and boom they'll be slowed down and then they'll come at you again so you're low hp your they'll have their defenses down and you can just keep on doing it that's what i do on lightsaber battlegrounds a lot of other people do that on lightsaber battlegrounds and it's very useful on ilum 2 as well because it's basically the same system but yeah that is a movement you can use the dash hit i use that one quite a lot especially if they're blocking right and you don't want to run up you don't want to just run up to them you know you, you'll be slow guards down you want to be able to just go boom and then be ready to block maybe they're whole they're blocking and then they're going to let off a throw that's another thing you can block and th then um quickly let your guard down throw and then get your distance you know get your distance maybe they'll jump back or maybe you want to go in for attack surprise your opponent i don't know yeah guys they're just some simple tips there are other ones like you can actually just spam like flip and then just keep hitting and go bang bang but you know just some simple tips you know i don't want to go too in depth like honestly you you'll just learn from playing really like this video will help you get a better understanding i hope and you'll just just keep fighting keep playing keep grinding and you'll learn from your mistakes you'll just become better over time just like every other game that you play you know you're always just going to get better the more you play unless i don't know you're just completely tragic <laughs> But I hope this helps you out, and if it does, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.